Hello YouTube! Right here we've got the Gemsbach horn and I am ready to go. Basically I'm gonna chop the end off, maybe the last four inches, or maybe I'll do that at the you know, tail end once I cut it in half, but I'm gonna cut it in half. My thought was to cut it in half uh, top to bottom like this so that both sides were identical. I guess the alternative would be to cut it uh, front to back. I'm not sure if one has more advantages than the other. I don't really think there's going to be that big of a deal either way. But it's worth giving it a shot because it's a very nice horn aside from some basic imperfections that you know any organic product is going to have. It looks really nice. Feels good in the hand. Nice and cool too. So we're ready to give it a shot and cut the sucker in half. Still have a little bit of... Uh, packing popcorn inside. Alright, so let's first make the decision front and back or side to side. Let's say we're going to cut it into two side strips. I don't think this is anything like a water buffalo horn, so that shouldn't be a problem. Basically, I'm just going to be feeding it in like so, and then drawing it from the other side. Ready? Here we go. Small break to let clear the air. It smells really bad. Picking up. Did I say how much this stinks? Actually, I'm going to need to reverse it now, cut from the other side. Okay, I'll admit I skipped a bit. There it is from top to bottom, stem to stern, one end to the other. Looks 
pretty cool. It seems like about three quarters of the way up, the horn becomes solid, and it was solid horn, that remainder. The thickness actually increases towards the tip, which I uh, suppose makes sense. Sorry, I wandered there. Which I suppose makes sense since it needs to be stiffer. I think this is the same as our PVC. You know, the problems being you want a stiffness at the handle or the center section, but you can accomplish that simply by increasing the cross-sectional inertia and you do that by making a larger tube. So it gets stiffer simply by virtue of the fact that it's getting uh, wider at the bottom to be stiffer up at the top, it'll need a little bit of extra material. Very interesting, very beautiful, really. I'm gonna go ahead and wash them and start to process them down. I need to, I'm not sure how much of the tip I'm gonna cut away because looking at it now, that's almost perfect up to the last inch. So I can very well see using all the way up to here. It's remarkable, just beautiful. Yeah, look at that. This is gonna be a heck of a thing to, to flatten out. I almost wonder if you had enough of it if you couldn't use almost quarters. This is such a big horn. I almost wonder if you couldn't use quarter strips of this. Really get your money's worth out of it, so to speak. I... that wasn't too bad. It smells like heck. Man, it's... It, well, <clears throat> think of it. What is it? It's keratin. What else do you know of that's made of keratin? Um, fingernails? But better yet, hair. Burning hair, yeah, it doesn't smell very good. This is about the same. So unfortunately, that's the least pleasant process that I've uh, <laughs> I've done so far. But we get to get onto the pounding of the sinew. So, thanks for watching YouTube.